To all the geeks and nerds out there, today I'd like to announce the release of my very first mod, Logical Zoom, and show you how it works. And so I'm in my single player world and I'm standing on an X-Wing, you know, as you do, and I'm in 1.15.1. Now, normally I would use Optifine uh, to, uh, to zoom into things because when I'm making videos, I like to do this, and sometimes some of this, and also some of this. And uh, of course, at the moment, Optifine hasn't been updated yet. They are, that's, in, that's in progress. And of course, that will happen at some point. But in the meantime, I like to have a Zoom key that I can use as I'm making videos. And so I decided that uh, I wanted to make a mod. And this mod really is uh, to, to serve that purpose for the time being until Optifine is ready. And I'm sure there are some other mods that, mods that do it as well. But the reason I'm not using those is because I want to use this as an excuse to learn how to write a mods. And that means that uh, in the future, I can, make, I can write more complicated ones. So this one's quite straightforward, but uh, yeah, let me show you it, uh, how it works and what you need to do to install it. Now, before we talk about how to install this mod, let me show you how it works and uh, the configuration that you can do to it. So first of all, the operation is you can assign a hotkey uh, to initiate the zoom. Now let's uh, show you how to set that up. So if you press escape and go to your options and then controls, and if we scroll down here, uh, after all of the default ones, you get this new area here called logical zoom. And here you got this toggle zoom and here you can set up your key. So by default, we set it up as the C key, which is the same as Optifine, but you can change this to whatever you like. Now, one thing you might find when you first install this, um, you might have a conflict already. I think one of these up here, I think it's this one is set to C by default. So uh, you might need to uh, just rearrange those and get these keys set up. So you've got unique keys uh, for each one. But once you've done that, that's all you need to do. And then when you go back into your game, all you need to do is hold down the C key in my case, and you will zoom in. So that changes your field of view. And it also changes the camera to be the smooth camera. And when you release the key, it goes back to normal, normal camera operation, and uh, your field of view is back to normal. The other small thing that this mod does is that it manages your smooth camera settings and keeps it consistent. So what I mean by that is that I have a hotkey uh, to enable the smooth camera, which I use sometimes for videos. And so if I press that and move around, you can see I've got the smooth camera enabled. But now while that's enabled, if I press my C key to zoom in, my, uh, my smooth camera is still enabled. And when I release my C key, I still have my smooth camera. So it, it maintains the state of, uh, of your smooth camera. And of course I can turn it off again and now I'm back to normal. So uh, it works nicely with your other settings, doesn't override anything. And yeah, this is a pretty cool thing. Before you can install Logical Zoom, you need to install Fabric. So to do that, you need to go to fabricmc.net and you'll be presented with this page right here. Now Fabric is, uh, as it says here, it's a lightweight experimental modding tool chain for Minecraft. So this is for 1.14 and above. Now this doesn't change anything about the behavior of how uh, how your world works, anything like that. This is just a, this just allows you to uh, load up mods. So to uh, download it, go to the Use menu up here and then you've got uh, a few options here. The way that I like to do it, which is nice and easy, is go to vanilla and then you download uh, the install that you need. So if you're on Windows, download this one over here, this exe. And if you're on something else like a Mac or Linux, you can download uh, the universal jar right over here. Once you've downloaded the installer and run it, then you'll see something like this. So on the client tab, uh, make sure you've got 1.15.1 1 selected and all the other bits and pieces should be good in the default. And also create a profile is also cool. And then you just click install and that will install a new profile in your launcher ready to run uh, Minecraft. Now that Fabric is installed, all you need to do now is go to your launcher, go to edit the profile of your game and on the version, uh, just drop that down and select the Fabric loader as I've got here, the 1.15.1. .1. And then the next time you start your game, you will be running in Fabric. The last step is to actually install the Logical Zoom mod. Now, the way you do that is you go to your game folder and you make sure that there's a folder called mods. Now there might be already if you've started your game, uh, but if not, just create a folder called mods. And then inside that you need to download Logical Zoom and also the Fabric API mod, those two jars as I've got here and pop them into that, to, into your mods folder and then restart your game. And then Logical Zoom will be ready to run. Now there will be links in the description to Logical Zoom, to Fabric API and also the Fabric loader itself. So uh, once you've got those things installed and running, you should be able to zoom to your heart's content. So there we have it, Logical Zoom, a super simple mod uh, to allow you to zoom in while we're waiting to Optifine to be updated if you're running 1.15.1. .1. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this mod is useful. Please let me know in the comments how you find it and if there are any issues and I'll get to work fixing those as soon as possible. All right, my geeks, until next time, I will see you later.